What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, I have Kamikaze Mark with me. So he's gonna help me videotape because he liked his videotaping so much last week when we caught the fish. But he's gonna help me uh, pretty much videotape while I cut the eye. So I'm not gonna go too much detail about kind of eye, which is kind of like, eh, maybe a little detail. The trick to having nice fish is to properly take care of the fish. We bind it, we ice it with 200 pounds of ice. Like I said, for every pound of fish you want to take care of, you need least a pound of ice is, is the, the ratio. But he was brined all night. I literally just drained the water and it's still full of ice. This fish is stiff as a board, so I'm going to hang it up. Let my kids take a picture with it, like take pictures with the fish. And then we'll get to the cutting part. So here we go. All right, so we got the fish hanging up. Here's here's Miss Reagan to get fish with her fish. Reagan, smile. Jeez. Can you break that? 127.7 gill and gut. 127.7 gill and gut. It's a good size fish. Strong muscles. Thank you, Damien. I work out. I work out. Oh, cause you're very fat. It's not nice. Uncle, look at these big cummies. Uncle, tough these fins. So we already scrubbed the fish. I'm taking off the side fins because we're gonna eat these collars, so I wanna save the fins. It's a little harder to cut it off, but it'll be easier when I store it from the grill. I'm gonna take off the head and I'll take off the collar afterwards. So let's take off this head. Okay, so cut this off, we cut the head. Now this is as simple as just flipping the head up. Grab from the bottom and flip it up. There you have it. In the bucket we go. Now we're gonna take off the collars. The collars are what we're gonna eat on the grill. Right, Mark? You're damn right. <laughs> One collar on the grill. This is like the best eats, like literally the best eats. A little salt, a little bit of pepper. You get a meal for a king. If we weren't eating the collars, it'd be easy to just climb behind the collars, ripping it off. It'd be super easy, but eat the collars. It takes a little more to get the, the collars off, but it's well worth it. Trust me. One more collar. Way better off the fins, right? You know, Mark? What do you think? Take the bottom quarter first. There's a lateral bone that runs along here. You want to stay on this side of the lateral bone. If you go over this side of the lateral bone, it's, it's a little harder to take off. So we're going to make our tail cut. And then right here, check and close mark. Right here kind of shows you a lateral bone is. You want to be on this side. And you'll feel the knife kind of ride it.
Good sharp knife is key. Like I said, like I said in uh, well, the fishing video, if you don't watch how the fish was caught, there'll be a link in the bottom if you watch this, how the fish was caught. But like I said, this is a male, so in theory, it shouldn't burn as easy as the females. And we iced it really good. And bang stick, I know there's a ton of comments about why'd you shoot the fish? Why'd you shoot the fish? If you never bang stick the fish before, you have no idea about the quality difference. The quality is way better, okay? And number two, most fish are lost at gaff. The big eyes, when you gaff them, they go ballistic. You get hurt, you mess up your boat, you mess up your gaff, and you're it's cruel to the fish. So all you guys are probably complaining about me shooting it. You gotta try it. If you don't, if you don't shot a fish before, you just don't know. Okay? You gotta shoot it. It's that much easier. So our next guy's gonna be on this side. We're gonna come all the way forward, and we're gonna ride that center bone. We don't wanna go over the bone. We're gonna stay on this side of the bone. Okay? Lift up the belly. Oh, that's nice. Another thing you want to do too is you want to make sure you do not let it wet your fillet. I see guys in Florida, so you'll see a lot of guys in Florida will spray their fillets. You do not ever want to let wet your fillet unless you absolutely. Have, there's a whole bunch of guts in here because I didn't do a good job. We're gonna wash it off. You know what I mean? We're gonna try wet dry it also. But like this, this is primo. You know what I mean, this fish is literally A grade quality stuff here. Good stuff. We'll throw this fully on the side. We'll take the other fillet. We'll take two fillets at once. Okay, we have that fillet done. Now we have this quarter, this top quarter fillet. The top quarter fillet. We're gonna come on this side of the bone. There's a center bone. We're gonna stand this side of the bone, and then uh, we'll take off the back. So. So all I gotta do is just pre-cut it. And the reason we pre-cut it is when we roll it, we don't want the, the flay to crack. I'm just pre-cutting it right there. Pre-cut the skin. Okay, other side, Mark. I just gotta find the right angle. Look what fell off his head. That is, I'm keeping this. I never ever had a round before ever. It's a 44 slug, that one in his head. I'm totally keeping that mark. I've always had a Bluetooth, I never had it, so I'm keeping that. <laughs> That's cool. And there we go. That's play number two. So I pre-cut made it a lot easier, as you can see. It's cut number two. Let's cut these fillets after. So this is literally mine and my family's favorite part to eat of the tuna, the bone scrapings. So the meat inside the tuna 
has suji in it, right? Like the string and stuff. These scrapings have none of it. You guys want to put a napkin down with it, so that way you don't get um. You guys want you guys want to put a napkin in it, so that we don't get any uh blood soak in there. You want it to soak up all the moisture. But you see this stuff? There is nothing in there. There's no string at all. That's just straight meat. So I don't mind if I cut these sides a little heavier because, like I said, my family really enjoys this stuff. We'll make we'll make actually hand rolls with it. that we bounce up and land right on the foot so anything left to do now is clean up the fillets so that's for the meat that center bone we're gonna send this side of the center bone good sharp knives are key So tradition wise, this is my first tune of the year. Tradition wise, you have to um, you have to do the first one. So you know what I mean? We make all the neighbors happy, we make our friends happy, we make Mark happy, we make Mark's family happy, we make everybody happy. How big was it, Mark? 120 gill and gut. So that's a big fish to make a lot of people happy. This is really good palu and stuff like that to keep. Um, blood meat stuff. Unfortunately, I only have one freezer. I meant to go looking for a chest feeder, another chest feeder just for my fishing crap because Alicia gets mad with all the fishing guts and everything in the other freezer, so uh, unfortunately I have to throw it away. I mean super good walmart bait, but we gotta get rid of it. There'll be another eye before walmart season, I'm sure. Okay, this fillet is cleaned up. I'm gonna cuff this belly. Ooh. Oh, good thing I landed skin up, huh? That would have been bad. And the last thing to do is take off this stuff here. This belly band. Take a rib bone. Eat that, some people eat it, nothing wrong with eating that. I just don't eat it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, Chris. You want? You want? Film that guy, film that guy. You want some eye? You better go back to Safeway and buy some. Nothing for sale over here, my friend. You're gonna be on YouTube. Don't worry, nobody will see it though, don't worry. Not that much people watch my stuff. Yeah, go park. Go park. So that's my electrician. I got a young fish. She's my electrician. But anyway, on the front of the fish, has this blood vessel thing. We don't really want to give that away because nobody likes that. So we'll cut back, I don't know, about one hand length or so. And I'll actually, the sad thing is I keep a lot of the scraps for myself. I give everybody good stuff and I keep a lot of scraps for myself. So I'll cut this up and I'll make pokey with it. Ah, okay. So it's done, we're gonna start cutting up the filet. Let me just show you how nice this fish is. When I told you guys about all the ice, let me just show you how nice this is. I'll cut this up and I'll come back and cut the second part. I gotta cut this up and bag it, but I'll, let me show you how nice this fish is. This is why you bring a lot of ice right here. That right there is why you bring a lot of ice. Look at that color of fish, no burn, beautiful. This is why you do what you do, okay? Bring ice guys, bring ice. Okay, we're gonna cut there and we'll be right back with the second part. So we got cleaned up, we already put everything away. We're gonna try to clean this fully up a little bit. Got this blood meat, all this crap over here, because you don't want to eat this. Well, let me just tell you. Somebody told me that this part is a good eat right here. This part right here is muscle. Only the elephant have it. That's why you can tell the elephant when you open it up anyway. Somebody told me it's good to eat. So I cut it up, I cooked it. 
It's truly like scallops, but doesn't have the honestly it doesn't really have a taste. Honestly, it doesn't taste bad. It just have a taste, but you can't eat it. I've tried it before. I even tried drying it. <laughs> it tastes like dried scallops when you dry it. So we're gonna take off this belly. Go oh, another belly piece. Couple ways to do this one. Some guys will fillet it this way. Um, some guys will cut down. For this one today, I think we'll just do the normal way that I know how to do it. We'll just cut this way. So here's the center bone right here. I'm angling my knife in at an angle. I'm trying to, because there's a blood meat going down. There's a line going down. I'm cutting past the ribs right now. Okay. I'm going to angle down. I want to hit that blood meat line. Oh, that's fine. Now we can clean this fully up. Can cut this off now? We're gonna angle up and we're just gonna take off those ribs. We don't need those ribs at all. And check it over here, Mark. And you can see right here, you can see the meat coming away. That's when I'm following that bone perfect. I want you to leave as little meat as possible. We're not trying to do a rough cut on here and just leave everything on here. Only in Florida they butcher fish. This is Hawaii, we don't butcher fish. That's a that's a carnal sin, the butcher tuna in Hawaii. So not saying the wrong way, not saying the right way. This is the way Nick Morse was taught by my dad. So we did have to center bow make it look like scorpion. Not scorpion, but what's that thing? What's that guy's name? Predator. Make it look like Predator, I'll show you. Keep filming this way. You wanna get it right underneath the spine, okay? The arm's probably starting it. Mark's not in any room. Yeah, good sharp knife for this. Good job, Chris. Don't leave your hand there. Oops, sorry. Make it look like Predator. So all you want to do now is take off everything else. Still some good meat right there. Look at that. That's some good meat. I wasted that cut right there. But oh. We will keep this. I'll keep this right there. Okay. So right there, I'm gonna stand this side of the bone. Okay, Mark, come back. Last part, take off this one now. Same thing as before. I like I say, I'm gonna be able to see that knife on this side. Perfect.
that is how you quarter a tuna. It's not really filet, but really a quarter. And then, uh, normally the top cut is going to be your biggest cut. So this is pretty much going to be our biggest cut of the fish right here. I'll show you one filet off the top. Like I said, most people have the top fillets, they always get burned. Top fillet, in the front, who gets the biggest burn, no burn. Lots of ice, bang stick, brine your fish, bleed your fish, gill it and gut it. It's key. It's key. The females are a little harder, like I said, the males. There's no reason why you can't get fish like this. Anybody should be able to get fish like this. And uh, I forgot about the, the lure giveaway. So we're going to do the lure giveaway right now. We'll go grab all the comments. We'll grab the URL from this video. We'll go to the random comment generator. And we'll pick a random winner. So here we go. So congratulations to the winner. You have two weeks to message me from the day's videos posted on Instagram to claim your lure. I will ship it for free wherever you live. It doesn't matter. Um, if not, if you don't claim it in two weeks, it goes back to the wolves, which is you guys watching this video. So uh, let me show a highlight of what's coming next week in next week's video. It's, it's action packed and there's a lot of, if you like sharks, there's a ton of sharks in this video. Um, but if you can't, give a like, give a thumbs up. Give a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week Saturday at 11 a.m. Hawaii time. As always, everybody, tight line, stay fishing, and we'll see you on the water. Aloha, everyone.